Hi, we're Rainy Day Dreamers. And we've decided to try out the Super Spirograph. We got this in a monthly surprise box from the Toy Insider. Thanks for sending it to us. When we got this, it was the 50th anniversary edition, but that was so long ago, we think now. <laughs> Congratulations on your 51st anniversary, Spirograph. Rainy Day Dreamers. Rainy Day Dreamers. If you like the Spirograph, you'll probably love the Super Spirograph. All the different options. Jimena's had a chance to try this out, so she's going to be leading us in this video. If you'd show the back of the box, please. I think it comes with 75 different pieces. Looks really cool. Goes for just over $30, and we have a link to it down below this video. So you have played with Spirograph before, but not this particular kit, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what comes in the box. Oh, tape. Tape comes in the box. Here. Okay. Oh, it comes with paper and instructions. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, good. And then all the different sets. Let's hold it up a little at an angle here to get an idea. Just like you saw in the back of the box, so many different things that you can use in combination to make the designs. So we read the instructions first? Yeah, let's just look at the back. <laughs> we're supposed all to right. have Roxana here to read them while we mess around and uh, then she tells us what we should do. All right, so there are two racks, three design pens, six spiral track end caps. So there's the design pad, and that's uh, blank pieces of paper. Oh look, I think they added one for like the 50. Gold, cool. Design guide. So they'll tell you which piece to take, and then where to put it, and then make the designs, I think. Take a look at that, okay. There's another design pad, which is more blank pieces of paper, and some really large blank pieces Ooh, of paper. I want to do this one. That is cool looking. You've seen these designs reminds me of the hours I spent doing this as a kid. But I don't know that I ever followed instructions. It was we just sort of made it up as we went along and saw what looked cool. This is confuzzling. Well you don't have to do it their way, but um, if you understand what kind of shapes the different pieces will make, then if you have something in mind you can create that. Let's but just, you just stick stuff together and try to figure it out. That's what we always do. Yes. Okay, what's going on here? I you look like you're building a train track. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Wish me luck. Okay. No, I'm adding an A and a B together. Okay. Isn't that algebra? Are you taking that already at school? No, that's in eighth grade. Eighth grade, okay. Eh? Well, you know, for kids who are in advanced math like I am. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Boy. We need some, we can make Hot Wheels tracks out of this. We, one of us should really read the instructions or we should go get Roxana, I think. Go get Roxana, we need her help with this. So now, when we were kids, I would take a wheel like this and put it inside of a thing like this and then pick a hole and start moving it around and make a design. Yeah, well this doesn't make another, oh, I don't know how to do this. How about doing it my way? Sure, okay. how do you do that? There, now make sure you hold this in place. You don't let this outer ring move. Stick the pen into one of the holes and then take it around so it, the gears engage and it goes around like a wheel inside. There you go. Keep going. Okay, now stop. And then you can get a different hole with a different color and then move it around or the same one. Comes with three pens. You got blue, red, and green. All right, I'm going to try it over here with the tiny one. Using the invisible ink. So we took a little time and read the instructions, right? Uh, you did. Yes. And so it turns out everything's numbered, the wheels, the rings, all the pieces, and you look for a design you'd like to make, and they tell you which wheel to use or ring, and which wheel and ring, and which hole to put it in. So which one did you want to make? Show me on the paper here. I want to try something simple. We're going to try to make this. So it turns out you can make all of these with the larger ring number 150. So we have that. And then you need the inner wheel number 75. Got that. And That looks 
like of action. Quite a bit like that one. Nice job. You made something. Woo! All right. Um, can you get 80? I want to try that. Which Wheel one? number 80. Okay, that should be this one slightly bigger than 75. 84. Okay. And the numbers are the number of teeth. 80. And this would be 21. I'm going to try a different color screen. So what should this look like when you're done? Can you show me, please? That one, okay. The green pen I noticed isn't very good. Hmm. Could it be because it's this kit has sat in your room for months and months and months? Hmm. It did not turn out quite like that. Maybe you went around too many times. Maybe you should have stopped after just it a few. It should still have a hole in there. I can't explain that. Rereading the instructions, it turns out we've been doing it incorrectly. Came in, I can't believe that. It turns out that you don't use hole number 21 with this. With all of these, you use hole number one. So it is ring number 150 and wheel number 80. Hole number one. We expect to see some magic happen here momentarily. Looking good. Messed it up. Done. Okay. I step a little when the yeah, ring went but out, but you know. Pretty good. Now it actually does look like the one she's attempting to make. Nice work. So are you up to doing a complex one or do you want me to give it a try? Because I really would like to make one of these. I'm thinking this one. It is pretty darn cool. Wow. How about we both try to make it and then we'll see how it turns out. All right, you can go first. I just want to finish this first. It's different wheels. Maybe one of us will make each of these because we need to use the different... Um, the outer ring part. Then we use those wheels, put it in this color in this hole, draw it around. Let's see who does a better job. Oh. <laughs> Humana, what did we learn reading the instructions for the fourth or fifth time? We finally figured it out, didn't we? Yeah, okay. What's the key? Explain it to everyone, please. And we did use the putty like we were supposed to. Yeah, because yeah. it would have like hurt our hands to like hold it. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. And one little slip and the whole thing's ruined. And you don't want that to happen. Oh. <laughs> but um, that uh, we had to like line it up at the one and like have it like that. Right. And then uh, for each one, we had to have it at the line, well, mm -hmm. at the line and line it up with that number at the one every single time yes, starting it. That was the key. And so let's see how things turned out. Now, in addition, you had another problem. The green pen ran out, the one they provided. Yeah. So you had to replace it with your own green. So it looks a little bit different. Well, Roxanne is green. Okay. She has so, all the markers. This is what you were going for. And this is how it turned out. Pretty nice. Might have been a little more 3D if with the green. And then let me show you mine over here. This is sort of, you can see the evolution here from the first one I when I first tried it and got it wrong. And figured to add the colors and then realized we gotta start it with that same line and the whole lined up. That's what I was going for, and that's how it turned out. What do you think of mine? It's good, except the green is so light, it yeah. sort of ruins it. I got the last of the green ink, but yeah, it wasn't quite dark enough. So, a super spirograph. Took us a while to figure it out on our own. About maybe an hour? <sighs> yeah. So, um, but now that you know how to do it, do you think you could actually make these more complicated designs? Yeah, like this maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need a steady hand. You need pens that work and you need a lot of patience, wouldn't you say? I don't have any three of those. Don't have any three? Okay, this comes with 75 pieces. We used four plus the pens. So I tried this. It's, it was cool. It like made this. Yes. Yeah. So, so there are more complicated things that you can make with this, but you do definitely have to have the patience for that, I think. I remember having just a real simple spirograph kit when I was a kid. I guess because we probably lost most of the pieces. You got one ring and one wheel and you make everything with that. But still, it's always a lot of fun to see. But for people who really like spirograph, this would probably be a great kit for them. Because you can do a lot. You can do pages more beyond what we mastered in an hour. I mean, look at some of that stuff. Wow. But um, if, if you love spirograph, this would be the one to get. It goes for just over $30. We have a link to it down below. So, in the Super Bowl, who do you think is going to win? The Broncos. Carolina Panthers? Denver Broncos, really? 
We're not allowed to, um, if my father or my brother find out that we were cheering for um, the Panthers and Cam Newton when he went and tore down the 12th man sign at the last Seahawks game. Yeah, so no one's allowed to cheer for him in the family or you're thrown out of the family. So, well, shh. I actually think he's a funny guy and I think it's so nice that he always gives the ball to the kids in the stands. Uh-oh, don't tell my father or my brother. I'll never be invited to Seattle again. <laughs> If you don't see me in any more videos, you'll know why. <laughs> but in case you want to, you can keep checking back for those future videos, or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. No, wrong channel. Uh, join the dream team. It's raining at our house. Is it raining where you are? Try the day to stay in and play or eat the big chocolate bar. Hang out.